This is Nopalito. This is by Gonzalo Guzman. It is a Mexican kitchen cookbook. I'm very excited. I love, I think Mexican food might be my favorite. So here is kind of an overview of what this cookbook looks like picture wise, because I know so many people love cooking with cookbooks with a ton of pictures. I think I even saw some step-by-step -step photos, which is very, very handy. I did, perfect. So let's look through that. Uh, here's what our table of contents looks like. Let's get, here we go. So we have background basics, which is very handy to have. Make sure to read through all of this. That includes things like a few house recipes, like making your own crema. Um, you can make your own uh, pickled red onions, things like that, even mayonnaise. Here we have uh, small plates in one chapter. Next we have here, oh wow. So something to keep note, this is one of my favorite things, is that you might have big plates listed here and all of the dishes that you will find in this cookbook are listed plus the page numbers. It's really handy, especially if you're making a, you know, a multi-course meal and you're like trying to match everything up. So I, I love that. There's desserts, drinks, salsas, etc. So very, very big cookbook with lots of awesome recipes and a great foundation. So here's some more things, even things like cooking tools you might want or need. Let's get to the dishes though. Here's a few. I want to show you some photos though, of course. Here, this is, I apologize if I say these things incorrectly. So we have totopos con chile. So here we have on the side all of our ingredients we might need. At the very top, we kind of have just a description of where this dish comes from for the author or just generally regionally in Mexico. Plus we have our directions listed down here. I believe it talks about how to utilize this recipe in other ways, like how, you know, do you top it with something? What other sides can you use? So it's very, very helpful. It looks tasty. So let's move on. Guacamole, of course. This has more things in it than a regular than the guacamole I make, so I'm really excited. Uh, Ensalada de Napoles, so delicious a cactus, I believe, yes. Uh, salad, that sounds delightful, and it's pretty. We have quesadillas de asparagos con salsas de cilantro. You'll see here too, at kind of at the top, it has a serving size. So this serves four. So if you are trying to plan a family dinner, this will be really handy so you know exactly how much you're, you're actually gonna get or if you need to make more food. So very, very, very handy. Here's a tamale recipe and a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually make tamales. This is a goal of mine. This would be so amazing. Having a tamale making party would be so much fun. So we have uh, tamales with stewed chicken. Uh, there's also, I did see another tamale recipe. We do. It says red spiced sunflower seed mole. <gasps> Holy cow. So this yields about 24 tamales. I'm excited. That looks awesome. Here we have a tostada de picadillo. Yum. Lots. This looks phenomenal. And it even uses a lot of those base ingredients or dishes that you make in the very beginning. For instance, your spice blend, they've allowed us their secret spice blend or even their crema. So, and how to make your own tostada shells. So if you wanna make everything homemade, this is an excellent cookbook. We have black bean stuffed tortillas with shredded chicken. This looks so good. Step-by-step -step photos again. We have braised piquito beans, different kinds, a veg a roasted vegetables, and cascabel chili oil. Ooh, that would be a fun way of actually getting all of your vegetable intake. We also have huevos de caja. I want that today. <laughs> I almost made that this morning. We have a pozole rojo. I'm definitely gonna have to go and look through this cookbook later, especially for uh, fall, for all of their soups. We have sopa de pollo con fideos. This is actually something we make a lot, but this one looks so much better. This has so much life and it just looks amazing. 
They have diced carrots in here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to make this. Okay, moving on. Carnitas. Uh, here we have a Samitha Poblana de Milanesa, which I've never had before. It's a breaded chicken sandwich with sesame rolls. Yum. Wow. Stunning photo of all the ingredients. Delicious horchata. That is like a Joaquin style, a Joaquin style horchata. Excuse my cat. Apparently he's coming for this video. <laughs> Uh, and then we also have more things like an iced cafe de la olla. So this looks really, really good. Oh goodness, so sorry. So this is Nopalito. This is an amazing Mexican style cookbook. I am, I'm excited. I like the step-by-step -step photos in particular. Uh, I think they're gonna be very, very helpful. There's a lot of foundational recipes in here and a lot of availability to expand. So check this one out. This one's really cool. If you are looking for some more Mexican or Latin American cookbooks or other like South American cookbooks, you can cho you can check out our, all of our playlists. Uh, they are listed over here. And then you can check out our description down below for our socials at Cookbook Divas. If you want us to go through a specific cookbook, make sure to comment down below. Thanks so much.